Now at four, a dramatic rescue in Lakeview Terrace after a horse fell into a sinkhole. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Mary Beth McDay. Boy, some dramatic images there. Ground and air crews from several local agencies combined their resources in that rescue effort. The approximately 12,000 pound animal was trapped up to its chest in soft soil. KTLA's Kimberly Chang is live in Lakeview Terrace with more on the rescue. Kim, I saw your tweets and uh, the outcome looks like very good. Oh God, she got the horse right. So That's sweet. fantastic. Hey, this yes, is looking good. The best possible outcome. This is lucky right beside me, a 20 year old horse. You saw that dramatic video. She was stuck in a sinkhole for hours right now. She's being assessed. Uh, she looks really good. She's been eating her carrots and you can see she does have a, a cut there on her foot, but she is looking remarkable considering what she has been through today. I want to bring in Juan Lostre, the owner of this property of the horse. Tell us what happened around noon today. How did she get stuck in that sinkhole? Well, my wife usually goes out for a ride a few times a week when the weather's good. So she sat up the horse in the back and uh, she was riding her out. Um, we have a little uh, a, um, a walkway made of asphalt back there. And as she was going over the walkway, I thought she tripped on, a, on, on the walkway. Uh, and she just fell down to her, like, her front legs. So my wife fell over her into the ground. And I guess she, she claimed she kind of like went sideways. So I helped her get out of there. And then uh, next thing I know, she just keeps going deeper and deeper into the hole. So the first thing I did, I did, I take her saddle off to try to lift her up uh, or, or help her up. Now, She's 1,200 pounds, so you obviously couldn't lift her out. We're looking at video right now. Yeah. Dozens of firefighters, rescuers, LA oh, Animal Services, yeah. they were all here trying to figure out a way to okay. get Lucky out of this sinkhole. And your wife was telling me it happened so quickly. She just started sinking right. and got stuck, and you couldn't take her out. What did you think when you saw firefighters pull her out successfully and she was doing okay? I imagine that was oh, really... Yeah. yeah, it was uh, like, wow, I can't believe it's... It's, it's over, you know, it's like a big thing that's happening. And uh, I couldn't, I mean, it was just shocking to me. Other I mean, than that cut, does she look good to you? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. She's eating, which is a good sign, and walking. Uh, her legs are, you know, they didn't get, you know, damaged where she would uh, not be able to walk. So I, I think within a week or so, She'll be able to ride her again. Thank you, Juan. I yeah, appreciate yeah. your time. I yeah, know you're, you're busy here. Um, I'm going to bring in Captain Eric Scott here with LAFD. A remarkable work there that we watched Lucky being pulled out. Um, tell us what may have caused that sinkhole. Well, we all know it's been raining. We can't definitively say that what is what happened, but this was for sure very loose soil, and she was up to even her head at one point. Wow, we saw the heavy equipment that you brought in. It wasn't as simple as just pulling her out. Talk to us about the challenges. This is a very unique operation that took ingenuity, a no-quit attitude from the fire department and civilians. We also give compliments to that smart team. It's a specialized mobile animal rescue team. And these firefighters, if you see right behind there, those are really the heroes. That's our urban search and rescue team. They're the best. So we utilize a pulley system, heavy equipment, and even vacuum trucks to be successful. And as you mentioned to me earlier, this was very strategic. You had to carefully remove that dirt because you didn't want Lucky to get hurt. That's very true. So we gingerly used shovels to begin with. That didn't get enough. We actually brought in heavy equipment with a bucket. But as you notice, that was a pinpoint precision. They would move enough back so that way it had a trench. That way the dirt that they took out from that tractor bucket wouldn't fall back in on Lucky. Then we used that same bucket up high with a pulley system, straps underneath, some people power to pull, a little bit of good luck, and Lucky's out. People were very concerned that she could be hurt. Uh, when you saw her pulled out safely, what was going through your mind? Uh, there was definitely tension to begin with. When she was pulled out, her head was limp, her eyes were closed. It didn't look very positive. But a few minutes later, she was up, walking, eating, and now we even gave her a bath with our fire hose. Captain Scott, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. So as you can see, uh, we're going to give you one last shot of Lucky there eating. She's walking, and she's doing fine after that 
rescue. She was stuck in that hole, you guys, for about three hours. Reporting live here in Lakeview Terrace, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Ah, oh, Kimberly, that that horse, that is one lucky gal, that lucky. I thought that had to be serendipitous for her to be named Lucky <laughs> and survive that situation. So yeah. happy to see her. Thank God she didn't break any legs or anything. Looking Aww. good. All right, Kimberly, thank you.